That's correct! It's 82 over 100. Let's proceed with number 2. Kindly read. 75 hundredths. So its fraction form is 75 over 100. Lastly, 2 hundredths. So its fraction form is 2 over 100. Very good, class! Now, let's try to change this number word into its decimal form. 36 hundredths is 36 over 100 in fraction form. Now, divide the numerator 36 into its denominator 100 so that you can get its decimal form. 36 divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.36. You can read this as 36 hundredths. Did you get it? Now, let's try to answer this. Let's use the examples given from our first exercise. Number 1, 82 hundredths. In decimal form, it is 0 0.82. Did you get it? Very good. Number 2. Okay, so let's try to change it into its decimal form. 0 0.75. Very good. Number 3. Two hundredths. Try to change it into its decimal form. Very good. It is 0 0.02. I think we are now ready for our new lesson. So, let's go! Again, I am Teacher Angel and I will be discussing Understanding Percent. So here are our objectives. At the end of the lesson, the students will be able to define percentage, visualize percent and its relationship to fractions, ratios, 
and decimal numbers using models. And lastly, identify the percentage, ratio, fraction, and decimal in a given problem. Okay, now, can you see the most common symbol in these pictures? Okay, very good. It is this symbol. Now, what do you call this symbol? Very good! It is called percent. Now, let us define percent. Now, let's read the definition of percent. Percent came from the Latin word percentum, which means for every 100. It was in the 15th century when the idea of percent began. When we say percent, it is a number that expresses a fraction whose denominator is 100. And the percent symbol replaces the denominator 100 in a fraction. Hence, 21% is equal to 21 over 100. How did we do it? 21 will become your numerator and change percentage into 100. So use 21 as your numerator and 100 as your denominator. Also, when we say 35 out of 100, its percentage is 35%. Another example, 75 over 100 will become 75%. Another, 25 over 100 will become 25%. So I have here another example so that you can understand better about percent. Let us compare the shaded part in each grid. Okay, what did you observe from these figures? You are right! They have the same shaded parts. Now, let's look into its representations. And the decimals for the third figure is 35 hundredths, while its fraction is 35 over 100. As we have learned, 35 out of 100 is equivalent to 35%. Now, let's turn 35% into ratio. Do you know how to get it? How about into decimals and fraction? Do you know how to get the ratio, the decimal, and the fraction of 35%? We will learn that in this lesson. So, in this lesson, I will show you how to change percent into fraction, in ratio, and in decimal. First, let's change percent to fraction. To change percent to fraction, first, remove the percent symbol. For example, 42%. Remove the percent symbol so it will become 42. And then, write the number as numerator. So, use 42 as your numerator. Then, 100 as denominator. So, use 100 as your denominator. Now, the fraction of 42% is 42 over 
100. But remember, change the fraction to lowest term if possible. So 42 over 100 can be reduced into 21 over 50. So I have here another example. Let's try to answer this. So number one. Nine percent. Let's change it into fraction. What's the first step again? Very good. First, remove the percent symbol. So it will become nine. And then use this as your numerator. And lastly, use 100 as denominator. So the fraction of 9% is equivalent to 9 over 100. Very good! Don't forget to reduce your answer into lowest terms. So the answer is still 9 over 100. Number 2, 25%. Remove the percent symbol so it will become 25. And use this as numerator. Then, use 100 as denominator. Now, you can also reduce this into lowest terms. So the answer is 1 fourth. Okay, very good. How about number 3? Can you answer this? Okay, 16%. Remove again the symbol and use the digit into numerator. So 16 is your numerator and 100, as always, is your denominator. You can also reduce this into lowest terms. So the final answer is 4 over 25. So, let's proceed to changing percent to decimals. To change percent to decimal, first, you have to write the percent as a fraction. So 15% into fraction. First, you have to write the percent as a fraction. Now, we can use what we have learned a while ago. The changing percent to fraction. Our first step was to remove the percent symbol, right? Okay, so 15%, for example, remove the percent symbol, it will become 15. And then use 100 as your denominator. So the fraction of 15% is 15 over 100. After getting the fraction of 15%, divide the numerator by the denominator. Now, 15 divided by 100 is equivalent to 0 0.15 or 15 hundredths. Did you get it? Okay, let's try to answer this one. Number 2, 9%. So, our fraction a while ago of 9% is 9 over 100. Now, let's divide 9 divided by 100. The answer is 0 0.09 or 9 hundredths. Number 3, 13% or the fraction of 13% is 13 over 100. Now, divide 13 by 100. So we will get 13 hundredths. Did you get it? It's easy, right? 
Okay, did you know that there's an easier way to change percent to decimal? I will show you how. First, change percent symbol to decimal point. For example, number one, 15 percent. Remove the percent symbol and change it into decimal point. So 15 and then decimal point. Now, move the decimal point twice to the left. One, two. Okay, now the answer is point 15. You can also put zero before the decimal point. It's easier, right? How about number two? Nine percent. Change percent symbol in decimal point, then move it twice to the left. One, two. So the decimal point, and then add zero. And then, that's it. 0 0.09. Number three, 68%. Again, change the percent symbol to decimal point, And then move it twice to the left. 1, 2. So the answer is 0 0.68 or 68 hundredths. Let us now learn on how to change percent to ratio. So percent is a ratio with 100 as the second term. So to change percent into ratio, first remove the percent sign. For example, 27 percent. Again, remove the percent symbol. And then Add a colon and write 100 as the second term. So the answer is 27 is to 100. Now let's try number 2. 5%. Again, remove the percent sign and write colon. Then Use 100 as the second term. So the answer is 5 is to 100. Number 3, 87%. Let's change this into ratio. Very good. 87 is to 100. Let's try this. So in this activity, you're going to write the ratio, decimal, and percent equivalent of each picture. Now let's proceed. So here are the figures. There are triangles, snowflakes, hearts, airplanes, and moons. So, in order to complete the table, you're going to write the ratio, decimal, and percent equivalent of these figures. Are you now ready? So, I will only give you 5 minutes to answer this. Your timer starts now. Good luck! So for number one, the ratio for the triangle is 25 is to 100. Well, the decimal is 25 hundredths. And the percent is 25%. Okay, number two. Snowflakes. How many snowflakes? are inside this figure okay very good there are 12 snowflakes out of 100 figures so the ratio for this one is 12 is to 
100. The decimal for this one is 12 hundredths. And the percent is 12 percent. Number 3. How many hearts can you see? Okay, there are 35 out of 100 figures. So, the ratio is 35 is to 100. Decimal is 35 hundredths and the percent is 35 percent. Number 4. How many airplanes are there? Okay, there are 20 out of 100 figures. So, the ratio is 20 is to 100. And the decimal is 0 0.20 or 20 hundredths. And the percent is 20%. Number 5. How many moons are there? Okay, very good. There are 8 moons out of 100 figures. So the ratio for this one is 8 is to 100. So the decimal is 0 0.08 or 8 hundredths. And the percent is 8%. Did you get this? Okay, very good. Yay! Now let's see what you have learned. In this activity, you are going to fill in the missing words to complete the meaning. Choose your answer from the choices given inside the box. I will only give you 3 minutes to answer this. Your timer starts now. Good luck! with 100 as the second term or a fraction with 100 as the denominator. It can also be written as decimal number. Let's proceed with number 2. To change the percent to fraction, remove the percent sign and write the number as the... What's the answer? Very good! It's numerator. So let's complete the sentence. To change percent to fraction, remove the percent sign and write the number as the numerator. How about number 3? You are right! It is lowest because to change the fraction, you have to reduce in lowest term. And number four. Very good. That is decimal point. In writing percent to decimal, remove the percent sign, then move the decimal point twice to the left. And lastly, number 5, in changing decimal to, what's the answer? Very good! Percent! In changing decimal to percent, we move the decimal point twice to the right and affix the percent sign. Very good, kids! Now we are down to our last activity. So for the directions, read the problem carefully and answer each item. You are only given 5 minutes to answer this. Number 
Number 1. What fraction of the cell phone's battery is used if the screen says that the remaining battery is 29%? Okay, so the answer is 29 over 100. Very good. Number 2. Carlos scored 65 out of 100 item test in math. What percent of the test did he get correctly? That's right. It's 65%. Number 3. 40% of the pupils ride to school. What fraction in lowest term of the pupils ride to school? You are correct. It's 9 over 20. Number 4. 36% of grade 5 pupils walk to school every day. Write 36% in decimal. That's correct. It's 36 hundredths or 0 0.36 Lastly, number 5 Christine packed 20 grapes and the pear in her lunch She ate 13 grapes and the pear What percent of the grapes did Christine eat? That's right! It's 65% Great job, kids! Yay! So that's the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.